Hey YouTube, it's me Spotty, hope you're all doing great. Today we've got the first ever episode of Weekly Cubing Topical. So in this episode we're going to be talking about which WCA event would be the best to get a world record in. Also, before we begin, just a quick note, the solve in the background is me solving a mirror blocks blindfolded. You can't see me wearing a blindfold or closing my eyes, but you're just going to have to trust me on that one. At the time of making this video, there are currently 18 WCA events. And of those 18 events, you can either get a world record for a single or average. In my opinion, there are really three things to consider when choosing which event would be the best to get a world record in. The first is popularity, the second is money, and the third is skill. Let's start off with money. Early this year, MoYu released a document saying that they would reward people who used their cubes to break world records. The largest reward was offered if somebody broke the 3x3 single or average world record. The reward was 6,000 US dollars. The one-handed single or average world record and 4x4 single or average world record was next, worth 2,300 US dollars. And the blindfold single or average was worth 1,600 US dollars. Then there was 2x2, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7, Pira, Skube, Mega, and Square One. Events like Fin Clock weren't included. So, in terms of money, the best world record to get would either be the 3x3 single or average. Moving on to the next point, which is popularity. Breaking a world record can earn a lot of hype in the community, but which one would get the most attention? So, I'm going to try and measure this popularity by YouTube views. This isn't completely accurate, but provides a sort of estimate of which videos of world records are getting the most views and attention from the community. So, in third place is the 3x3 average world record. Felix's record of 6.54 got just over half a million views. I would say the second most viewed record is the 2x2 single. Former singles got up to 2 million views on YouTube. Rami's controversial one got over a million views. And the current one has under 100,000, which is kind of surprising. But in first place is of course the 3x3 single. The current 3x3 single by Lucas Edda has over 3 million views, and Felix's past world record singles have got a hefty 4 million views on them. So in terms of popularity, I would say that the world record that would get you the most attention is the 3x3 single. However, the 2x2 single wouldn't get you that much less popularity either. The last thing to consider is actual skill. Which is the hardest to break, and which shows that you're actually a pretty good cuber. Not that breaking any world record doesn't show that. Some of you might disagree, but I think that averages show more skill than singles. A lot of people do have potential to break 3x3 single world records. However, to break a world record single, you do need a little bit of luck. I mean, a good scramble and a PLL skip couldn't really hurt. However, to break a world record, you need consistency, which shows a little bit more skill, I reckon. So, with all those three things considered, I personally would think that the best world record to break is the 3x3 average. Yes, the 3x3 single might get a little bit more attention, but the average requires more skill in my opinion anyways. And in terms of money, they're both exactly the same. Also, the world record average hasn't been broken for a couple of years, so the next person to do so will probably gain a little bit of attention. Just a little. Anyway, leave your opinions down in the comment section below and how you're liking this series so far. It's only been one episode, but any constructive criticism or feedback is greatly appreciated. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future content. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.